Good afternoon. Yeah, today's Friday. I usually don't start a vlog on a Friday, but here we are. Also, packages. So, first package is from Octali. So let's see. Is this the, I'm trying to decide what this is. What did I? Octali is a website. Ooh, I don't wanna break. I don't wanna break a nail. Though at this point it doesn't matter. They look so ratchet anyway. Um, Octali is a website that I use, that Andrew uses, that a lot of creators use to get product to review. Ooh. Um, have I talked about it before? Maybe a little bit. It's always in the description box. This is the John Frieda Luxurious Volume Volume Refresh Dry Shampoo. Oh, wait. This is for fine hair, which I do not have, but... Um, okay, well, the whole point is that Octali is great because there's tons of brands on there, there's tons of products, there's a variety of, you know, hair, skin, makeup, things, and... Um, you can pick and choose. You just say, hey, I'd love to review XYZ product for my channel, and then they send it to you, and then you review it. And I love it because I can get like a whole bunch of stuff from YSL and be like, hey, I like this, I don't like this. This says for fine hair. Oh, I did not notice that when I was looking at this. I picked this because it has the rice starch in it. And the best luck I have is with rice starch in the dry shampoos. The second best is probably the aluminum. And then everything else just kind of weighs my hair down. So we'll do, do a little spray. This smells good. Doesn't smell sweet, just smells like hair product. I'm excited, excited. We have a bag from Amazon. I think this is like, so last vlog, I shared with you that I had picked up stuff from Shein and Boohoo. I haven't gotten that in yet. That'll probably be later in the vlog this week. But I do have this bag. Ooh, how do I open this? Okay, it's said to pull here. And it's not working. Oh, ah, okay. Did you guys know that if you have Amazon Prime, they're soon gonna do like an Amazon Prime wardrobe thing where like, I don't know like if, it can, if it's gonna be across all of Amazon, no. It's obviously gonna be um, Prime products only and you can like fill a whole box with clothing and have it sent to you and like if you keep like one piece, it'll be like 10% off. If you keep two pieces, it'll be like 20% off or something like that. I was reading an article about it and I was like getting really excited. Um, Maybe it's in beta testing right now and it's not open to everybody yet, but I'm so excited for that. That'll be like so awesome. Okay, we have four packets here. It's very bright and sunny right now, which might be washing me out, but we'll see. Oh, I got three of the same shirt. <laughs> I wanted like tunic tops that I could wear to the office. I basically, I just need shirts that I can wear with leggings, with boots, and then I can go into... These are really nice. They look like they're gonna be like fitted. And they have an asymmetrical hem. Oh, I'm so excited. I mean, we'll see these soon. We'll try them on. And then I picked up this one. I usually don't pick out anything brown, but I kind of liked this one. Oh my god, it's coming across so much more red on camera. It's like so not red at all. It's like more of a rusty shade. So, same thing in this kind of... Ooh, this like makes my hair pop. Oh my god, I'm like talking to myself right now. And then I have this one. Oh, this one's black and gray. Yes. I hope... Okay, my only issue with when I look at patterns or buy patterns... Um, online is like it depends on where the pattern falls like if i have like a darker area on my right boob i'm okay with that because this boob is bigger but if it falls on this side i'm kind of like no now this boob is gonna look even smaller i mean everyone has like one big tit right and one small tit some of it's more obvious mine is not but it's just like i will know or like i want like something darker to fall across my shoulders versus like you know just what you want to hide okay and there's just one more top this is and all those, I think those um, tie-dye tops I showed you were around like 
10 or 11 bucks, so like not very expensive. And then we have, oh, this is also a tunic, obviously. It's like a sheer black tunic with kind of slightly open sleeves. Oh, it has the this thing, so I can make them three quarters. And it's also quite long, asymmetrical, rounded hem. I'm very excited, okay. Lastly is a box from Rue La La. I think this is a coat. I've ordered two coats and like a pair of sunglasses, so we'll see if any of them are cute. I love Rue La La. I always have them linked below. I only link websites that I actively use and I actively have positive experiences with. The second I have like a situation with website that where it doesn't work out for me, I remove it. Ooh, this coat feels so nice. It's by the company Blush Noir, and it's this gray, I think it's faux suede. Feels like faux suede. Yeah, it's 92% polyester, so it's faux suede. Maybe a little. Here we go. And we will try this on. Oh, oh my god, it feels so nice. I don't have a bra on. <laughs> Wait a minute, what's happening here? Is there a belt? There should be a belt somewhere. I don't know how far back I can step, but I feel like this is too big. It's too big for me, yeah? Yeah, definitely too big. It's so nice. Oh my God, okay, the brand is Blush Noir. If you want a really, really soft faux suede, it's not lined though. But the detailing on it is so cute. If this actually fit me, oh my god, oh, it's so nice. I'm gonna have to return it though because it's too big. They didn't. I don't know if they had an extra small. It's so comfy. It's like stretchy and super crazy soft. Okay, we're gonna go try on the. Um, no, I'm gonna eat. I'm hungry. Had Pizza Hut for lunch today. This is thin crust with the ultimate cheese as the base, and then I think I did the Peruvian cherry red peppers, or the Peruvian, whatever, those things are so good, and then pineapple. <laughs> I was like, I know I heated some up, where is it? Uh, it was somewhere in the living room because I guess I had put it, or I was cleaning up the stuff I just filmed. I don't know what happened, whatever, I'm eating this. I put some black pepper on it. Good morning. Saturday morning. I just finished my makeup. I'm gonna show you some of it. Not gonna be the full makeup breakdown today, but I, my under eye looks so amazing today. I just, yeah, needed to, oh, it's so pretty. It's the Sisley. I forgot how good it is. And you have to use it with the, not you have to, but I use it with the Real Technique sponge, like the mini ones. Oh my God. Yeah, there we go. Up close, it looks, up close my makeup looks really kind, kind of messy, but like from far away it looks good, right? It's like generally how I am as a person. Okay, so still super obsessed with the Queen of Hearts palette. This shade, Duchess, is basically what I have on all over the lid. A little bit of ladyship in the crease. Nothing really on the lid, it's just like whatever ended up on the lid. But those two colors are like, ugh, oh, right now. And then this is in the crease a little bit too. What's this called? Royal Prerogative. Okay, again, with this hourglass highlight, super, super loved. You guys see my shorts? They're Spider-Man, yeah? Actually, they're boxers from the boy section. <laughs> Smashbox primer water all over the face. This is what I use as foundation today, the Tarte Shape Tape. Medium and light medium just kind of blend it all over the face and then this amazingness on the under eyes number two, shade two from Sicily. And then obviously Charlotte Tilbury number two on the face and under eyes and then number three for bronzer. My lip today, oh my God, I'll show you guys in the car. Good morning, kind of. I mean, we've already talked this morning. Okay, I totally had all this, where did it go?
had lip glosses to share with you guys. Okay. I have lip glosses to share with you guys. They're from e.l.f. And I had talked about them. I, did I mention them last vlog? I might have and I might have edited it out. Okay. So, MAC strip down. Oh, that is not good enough. I thought my makeup looked so bomb today when I was showing it earlier. And I still think it does, but I was like, why was I holding the camera? I felt like I was holding the camera like a little lower. It just looked stupid. I don't know. So it happens when you vlog because you're like, it's supposed to be casual. But then sometimes it's too casual and you're like, that's not cute. Okay. These e.l.f. glosses, the, the Lip Plumping Gloss, I have two shades here. One's called Mocha Twisted and the other one is called Champagne Glam. Look at these. I wish I could get close enough so you could see how gorgeous Champagne Glam is. It's so pretty. Okay, bit of a situation. Yesterday, I couldn't find my battery or charger or I searched all over the house. I drove to the office to look for it. Turns out when I came home, like at the end of the day, it was in the beauty room next to the tripod that I used to film there. So that's good. We are back to filming normal stuff. Okay, a little bit of uh, grocery. We have organic vanilla soy milk. I've never had any of the soy milk from, oh, I think I meant to get almond milk. Damn it. Anyway, I haven't had soy milk or almond milk from Aldi before, so if you guys have, let me know. I have a case of, small case, compared to what I usually get from the Asian grocery from Aldi. Bananas, mushrooms, arugula. This has obviously been in the fridge. Um, cherries, big container, very excited. And then we have cream of mushroom that we're going to then put the fresh mushrooms into, and then corn. I'm going to do a cauliflower fried rice, I think, this weekend. So, and maybe we'll get some more groceries. This was kind of like a random trip to the grocery, so. And I also got a watermelon. Clean some mushrooms. Sauteing. And then into the cream of mushroom. Okay, we've got our rice cauliflower. We're gonna try out this Mexican style roasted corn. We have some Trader Joe's patties that we're gonna use as a sausage, and then eggs, of course. And I salvaged some of the mushrooms from the soup, the larger pieces, so fried rice, here we go. Okay, corn, really good, recommend it. Um, and then there's mushrooms and the sausage together. Okay, and done. Sprinkled the cotilla cheese on it, more black pepper, and food is done for the week. Good morning, Monday morning. Okay, so there was a bit of like a break. Actually, we didn't really vlog at all this weekend because as mentioned earlier with the whole <laughs> battery situation. So now we're going to do uh, e.l.f. plumping lip gloss 2.0. Okay, so this is the color I was trying to show you. It's by Mocha, it's by Mocha. It's called Mocha Twisted and it is a plumping gloss. <sighs> I really love this. Elf is really killing it with like the lip products, their lip lacquers, the lip oils, um, and this. I just like for the price, they're so, ugh. So you have like a clear wand, which I love. I always like that element. The packaging is awesome. Very like sturdy and like chic. Now, the smell to me, it's like a little vanilla-y, but then also a little cough syrupy. I don't know how to explain that, but that's the scent. I'm not turned off by it at all. It's just like an odd combination and I can't quite pinpoint my reference point for the scent. Anyway, you have a doe foot applicator that's like slightly curved. It does have a plumping feel, and by that I mean like it will sting you a little. Uh, it's not 
gonna hurt you it's not it's not painful there are certain ones you use and they're like oh my god you like need to remove them immediately and even after removing them you're like i can't i can't process or deal with this feeling imagine like the buxom lip glosses but then a step above that because i think those are like a minty feel i don't feel that they plump uh per se i don't think they claim to be plumping lip glosses do they if they do i'm, I'm not getting any plumping from it these i get a plump when I apply this, I feel it, and then over like the next five minutes-ish, I feel it more, and then it just dies down, and then over the course of the day, in the like, next hour, two hours, three hours, it looks so good. Like, your lips look like you have had really beautifully done lip injections. The lines just like disappear. Whenever I wear this, I'm sorry, my mom's calling me, so I'm like staring at my phone. When I wear it over the course of the day, it feels extremely like... It feels like nothing, but it looks so good. Every time I catch myself in the mirror, I'm always like, oh my god, that looks so amazing. Okay, randomly, errands. I get to... <laughs> my mom is calling me, right, earlier when I was talking to you guys, and then... I get to work my dad literally meets me at my car and I thought it was about the same situation no completely different situation and then there's things that I needed to do that I needed to know for this morning I was just like oh. so then it's like I'm cross-checking the situations with different people and then it becomes like more escalated and I'm just like I can't you guys ever feel like what was it like it's like an emotional gangbang you're like what is happening right now everyone back off Can I update you guys on the gloss though? <laughs> Makeup is like the calm, happy place. Um, and I know, here's the thing, with glosses on camera, they always look great, right? Cause like, it's reflective. But I'm, I promise you in person, there is a noted difference between this and just like every other gloss. This is on par with the Buxom glosses that I really love. There's no like, how do I explain it? There's no moisturizing factor, but because it's like stickier, it just keeps your lips looking really nice. Even when it, it wears off, it doesn't feel, I feel like my hair looks like mullety today. It's because I was just in Walmart, I don't know. Okay, no offense to Walmart, oh my God, I have to go back in. Their t-shirts there, they were like $5 t-shirts and they had like a curved dolphin hem, asymmetrical, longer in the back. I need to go try them on, they looked really, they felt really nice also they had like these jeans for like $14 and the material felt so awesome I know right we have to go back we need to revisit this and I will report back also I didn't have breakfast I didn't eat anything this morning all I had was coffee so I'm like inside Walmart I'm like I'm like wanting like all the cookies and cupcakes and what do you call it so i was like no i tried going in the makeup section actually okay so they have the new maybelline lash sensational it's called curvitude that brush looked really nice and i love maybelline lash sensational right so definitely i'm gonna try that and there's another thing that i had written down in my phone what was it i have like no battery hold on Oh, the L'Oreal Glow Concealer. I've seen a lot of reviews about it. Have you guys tried it yet? It looks pretty, and I like the L'Oreal Pro Glow Foundation, so maybe I'll pick that up and try that out. There are two under-eye concealers that are very ride-or-die right now. The Sisley Concealer, I don't know what it is about that. It just looks so beautiful. It looks like my, my cheek skin and my eye skin are the same. Do you know how big of a deal that is? Like you guys know, right? It's very difficult to get like the skin to look the same, like up close. And then the Bare Minerals uh, Bare Skin Serum Foundation or oh, concealer, that stuff is so good too. The Bare Minerals is much more glowy under the eyes, which, which always looks nice. And then you try to like counter it with a little bit of powder, but you need to get the right amount of powder. Otherwise it's just, then you're like removing the glow. I don't know, it's difficult. And then the Sisley one is not glowy, I don't think. Good morning. We are at a Tuesday. Um, so 
I'm going to work, but first, I am stopping at my mom's to pick up Echo and to see if she needs anything. Um, she has like vertigo, so I want to say like a few times a year she like gets knocked out. Like she has like a little dizzy spell and then she's down and out for like a couple days, two, three days or something like that. So I don't know, she's been, I can't remember. I feel like growing up she always had this. So if you guys know, like, you know, what do you guys do for it? Let me know. Totally interested. Um, guys, I didn't do wing liner yesterday. Did you notice? I didn't notice until like lunch because that's like the only time during the day. Like I check my teeth after lunch to make sure there's like nothing in it. And I was like, oh my God, I didn't wing my liner. I know. Go report it to CNN, right? Okay. Um, so on Saturday, uh, my mom and I went out and we were out like the whole day. We were looking for some jewelry for my sister's wedding and oh, it was the tax free thing, right? So I was looking for shirts, obviously. And then we were out from like 11 until like maybe like five or six. And I don't know if I've been sharing so much about like, oh my God, work, 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 that I haven't really complained about other things. And uh, my back has been like, I made, an appointment with the chiropractor because I am one of those people that refuses to go to the doctor. I like don't want to take medicine. I don't want to go to the doctor. I'm, I'm like, I will ride it through or I will just see what happens, you know? And it's just been getting progressively worse. And the main reason for the back situation is for about a month, I wasn't sitting at my desk at work and I was sitting at someone else's desk. And I want to say two or three years ago, probably three years ago, I bought one of those uh, ball chairs where it's like, you know, it's like a, it has like a, a chair frame but there's like an exercise ball inside of it why do I have this on here <laughs> let's be safe it has an exercise ball in it so once I got that and sat that in that chair all day my back like it little to no pain every day after work because I would notice every day after work because you're in that position right you're in front of your computer you're like in one position all day and for my back it was just bad right because I had like it was like lower back pain more so on the right side once getting that chair you look ridiculous, but it really completely almost eliminated all the back pain. I would feel like daily back pain. So for about a month, I wasn't using that chair. It like everything up like, and you know how when you sit, like I sit, you, I know you're not supposed to do this, but I sit cross-legged, right? So um, I cross my left over my right. So most of the pressure is on my right. So then it was just like me leaning to the right all the time. It was just, so, it's so bad now. Like I can't, I don't know it's like laughing hurts I noticed when we were out on Saturday because we were like you know standing and walking pretty much the whole day like I would feel it almost seize and if you guys have back pain you or a back problem you know what it's like when it's about to seize you're like you're like oh my god oh my god like can I move after it seizes so all Sunday I don't want to say I was bedridden but I like laid in bed because whenever I it hurts like I just lay in bed for like all day long there was like a week a few years ago where like I could not move but yeah anyway yeah all that to say Sunday was like so Saturday I was so tired it was like I went to bed at 10 I woke up at 7 it was amazing it was like the longest uninterrupted sleep that I've had in like a really long time and then I kind of like didn't really do anything on Sunday like I'd eat and then I took a nap which was awesome so Sunday was kind of like an off day like I whatever Anyway, after the day of rest, everything is, it's like functioning, but like I can't go to the gym. I can't, I don't know. It's just, anyway. Okay. So yes, going to my mom's now to check on her. I don't know if she needs anything. But definitely going to go grab Echo from her so that um, she doesn't have to watch him. Okay. My mother, I know I share anecdotes about her every so often. If you guys follow the vlogs, I do mention her every so often. Now my mom, I think <laughs> I think she's kind of weird and funny. I think part of it is being an immigrant and foreign. But then the other, there are parts of it where it's just like, it has nothing to do with that. Like she's just weird, you know? Like we were out on Saturday where we were at like TJ Maxx. She was looking for a Bundt cake uh, tin. 
So I found a few for her and we were picking ones and I'm like, wait, what are you doing with this? And she's like, I saw this thing on Instagram where you can put like a like corn on the cob and you can put it like on like the cone part of the bun cake tin and then you can slice the corn off of it. I was like, I too also saw this video that morning on Instagram, but I didn't realize she would feel the need to go, <laughs> not the need, but it was just funny that she was like, yeah, and I was like, wait, that's what you're getting it for? She's like, well, I'm gonna bake too. She doesn't really bake, like she does, but she bakes like brownies or cake, but not like a bun cake, I don't know. It's just really weird. I'm just like looking at her like, and then, um, oh, okay, so this is a, we were at Aldi, right? And I had gotten the organic vanilla soy milk when that wasn't even like an option. Like I don't really want to drink soy milk. I always go for coconut milk or almond milk. In making this decision, I'm standing in front of the freezer and I'm like, okay, should I get coconut milk or should I get the almond milk? I'm like, have you had it before? And she's like, it's like she didn't really answer me and she pointed to the bottom of the freezer, which was the organic vanilla soy milk, which is not even what I wanted. But at the same time, she redirected my attention to the top of the freezer. She's like pointing to cans of like Ready Whip, you know, that stuff that's like the aerosol Ready Whip that you spray like onto dessert. She's like, we should get that. I was like, what? She's like, we should put it on our face. And I'm just like looking at her and I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, what are, what are we doing? I'm so confused. So then, in the process of that, I ended up getting the organic vanilla soy milk, which is, it's okay. Almond milk tastes the best, like in coffee and stuff. I've been rambling. I feel like I've just been rambling this whole vlog. Have we shared anything of like substance that you can like go buy? <laughs> I feel like, not that like I need to share like items, but I don't know. I'm like, dude, my life is not that interesting, you know? So it's like, I, I would like, I think, that a lot of you guys watch to see like oh like what what's like new or what is out there at the, I don't know why do you guys even watch actually I don't know you should probably not say that because then you guys are gonna then question yourselves like yeah why do I watch <laughs> okay so we have echo come guys I know I mentioned this earlier but I feel like my hair looks really mullety like why does it look mullety I is it a volume thing or is it the way I cut it or I don't um should I get Rogaine have you guys honestly though have you tried Rogaine I'm so curious about it like if it works I totally want to do it and I think um like based on my age and like whatever uh it should work for me I think also eyebrows I kind of want to use it on my eyebrows excuse me Um, those Amazon shirts that I showed you guys earlier in the vlog, they're awesome. They're just too long. So if you're interested in those tops, I'm like 5'1", and the longest part of it goes past my kneecap. So I would say if you're like 5'4", five, 5'5"-ish, five, five, five it could totally work for you. The quality is so good. Like, like I had suspected, it clings like really properly to your skin. To like your body it doesn't like make you feel really you know like it clings properly and then the black tunic is great that one is also longer but it's asymmetrical so it's like longer in the front or no shorter in the front longer in the back and that one hits like above my knee so I can wear it with like leggings and boots or you know even with hair and pants if I'm going for a very very <laughs> Eastern vibe thank you very much your breath stinks though Thank you. He's just like, he's been doing this thing a lot where he just like licks and he's like, he'll like lick my, I was gonna say my ankle. He'll like lick my um, wrist and like up my arm. He'll just like keep on licking and I'm like, okay. I think it's because my skin is sweet. Have you guys ever like licked your skin before? Like some people have sweet skin and some people have salty skin. I feel like I've talked about this before, but I can't remember in what context. Okay. Oh, yesterday when I was talking about like everyone coming at me and I called it an emotional gangbang, I should take that back because that's like a really strong term to use, <laughs> I feel. Oh, where are you going? Um, in retrospect, it wasn't, I feel like an emotional gangbang would be so much more intense. So we'll take it back. It was just, what do you call that when like everybody needs your attention or wants an answer from you? I don't, that was the term I came up with in the moment. Also, on a similar but related note, okay, 
this is gonna be okay maybe this is too much for some people but why are if you look at surveys of the most popular porn within like different parts of the world people like different stuff I'm someone that can enjoy all categories of porn generally but why is it so popular in the US these are the most popular categories stepsister and stepmother porn please explain I mean I have an idea of why but like really why is this country so into that like it's seriously I should probably cut myself off now. Good morning. We are. <clears throat> this is basically a transitional clip. Uh, I filmed a lot already. I'm pretty sure, um, but we haven't even gotten to makeup or just stuff I wanted to share with you. So this is part one for this weekend, and I will see you in the next video. Yeah, I'll link below. Okay, I was watching the clip that I just filmed for you and I look like I'm pissed off at you or something. I just, um, I had Echo last night and he woke up every hour and jumped off the bed and I have motion sensor lights and so there was that. But then the weird thing is every time he jumped off, every hour, he would whine until I would bring him back up on the bed so oh, sorry i'm cutting myself off so i really there was really not i did not sleep last night like i just was wow it, i don't know how it was like having a newborn you know what i mean so yeah i just wanted to disclaim it like i wasn't like in a bad mood or like mad at you i just didn't get enough sleep you know okay better